welcome. You are watching Line Screw One. Well, hello, tubers. Carolyn's RV life is at it again. Hating the men, blaming the men, making the men look bad. It's her go-to story every few months. Yeah, Sammy, can you believe it? Even Sammy is upset with it. Can you believe it? And since RTR is going on, don't look like she's invited. Actually, it looks like she kind of got the boot off the itinerary. <laughs> so we're going to talk about that. Because I keep getting questions from people. Yeah, Sammy, you keep getting questions too, don't you? Keep getting questions on how Bob Wells from Cheap RV Living has kind of distanced himself from her. Because I think Carolyn's done, finished, riding that horse with Bob's name through the desert as far as she can. Of course, if Carolyn can't exploit a man to get some money, well, what else does she got? She got nothing. So let's get to it today. And the reason I'm doing a response today to Lime Screw is because he is exactly representing what I talk about. And that's what Line Screw's doing, whether he realizes it or not. You know, I really don't know how Carolyn's RV Life sleeps at night with uh, about 50% of all the people out there being men. The men seem to be lurking everywhere and causing her troubles and dangers. <laughs> yeah, it's Carolyn's RV Life's go-to subject because she can't blame minorities, I guess, without getting uh, a YouTube's violation or something. So her go-to uh, uh, nemesis is men. <laughs> men, you know, men like me. We're, we're horrible people, you know, <laughs> in spite of the fact that we're around 50% of all the people out there. And I had to talk about her latest video. I have not talked about her in weeks because she's been somewhat behaving herself, but apparently men are lurking and idling their trucks next to her and causing her alarm and danger, <laughs> in spite of the fact that there is no danger. But she has to um, exaggerate that because it's very important for the views. It's kind of like that kid that just jumped out of an airplane because he was so thirsty for the views. I'm surprised that Carolyn's RV life has not <laughs> jumped out of her RV on an interstate just to get some views. She's probably dreading the fact that she didn't do that. RTR is about to hit and she's not really welcome it seems. For many years I get comments on why Bob Wells is not pushing her channel anymore. It seems like they've had a falling out of some sort because I don't know. Maybe she's a little too liberal even for Bob. You know, Bob's a lefty, but Carolyn's a far lefty. <laughs> I think Bob's learned to try to keep politics out of it, but Carolyn just doesn't uh, learn from her mistakes. So, RTR is on and she's not there. <laughs> of course, I'm sure her security demands in her mind could not be met. According to Carolyn, she would need uh, a security entourage to keep her safe, you know, if she did a little speech on the home stage there. <laughs> Plus, Carolyn has even mentioned that she don't like people knocking on her RV door. You don't know, like that door over there. If you knocked on that door of hers, <laughs> that's dangerous, especially if you're a man, because God forbid, men are in fact very dangerous. And because I know I'm a man and I am potentially dangerous, I keep away from Carolyn's RV life. <laughs> I'm being serious here, folks. In her mind, she's cooked up all these uh, narratives that are false about men being dangerous and they're all out to get her. And <laughs> she's created herself to be the heroine of the story, <laughs> the story in her mind, if you know what I'm saying. But let's let Carolyn's RV life speak to that herself with Carolyn's RV life speaks truth. <laughs> well, hello, friendlies. I just want you to know that men are to be exploited by me. Yeah, I like to exploit bad, bad, bad men. Yeah, for example, it was men in a truck that were parked next to me, idling their truck. How dare them idle their truck next to me? So because they did that, I decided to exploit them for views on YouTube and pretend that they are bad men. Yes, because any man that is near me is a bad man. I just hope I straighten that mystery out for you friendlies out there, just so you can understand. Because men are bad and I am good. Okay, friendlies? Any questions? By the way, I'm still hoping to find that line.
mind screw one so I can get that alimony money and marry him. Okay, friendlies, over and out. Yes, folks, it does seem that unless a man can get her some money, she's not too interested in the men. <laughs> We all know what's going on with the RTR. It's uh, slowly dying because it's not the way it used to be. Heck, when was I there last? Uh, January 2017, thousands of people there. Yeah, it was a good time. Even Carolyn was there at the exact same time as I was. Her channel was minuscule then, and I remember seeing her there, but I paid no attention because you know, why would I pay attention to her? <laughs> Even now, if I saw her, I'd go the other way because I know there'd be a 911 call perhaps made of an allegation that I'm dangerous because it's a fact that she has reported me to the FBI that has been noted on her Twitter feed. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up folks. I mean come on. I'm pretty chill and easy going. And if she was that concerned about her safety, why didn't she stay in an RV park, you know, open that wallet up, spend some of that money that you all given her? <laughs> why not put some security cameras up like I got? Come on. Open the wallet, Carolyn. If it was true, you'd have it on video. <laughs> Trust me, anybody comes to my door talking trash to me, it's all going to be on video. And you might even see it. And then guess what? It's going to be real. But in Carolyn's RV life's mind, she's like Elvis at the height of his popularity. <laughs> and she deserves the security that only Elvis <laughs> would desire. Thank you very much. That's why she's not at the RTR 2022, because uh, I don't think Bob Wells can afford that kind of security, and neither will Carolyn open up her wallet. <laughs> but it's all a work of fiction in her mind, folks. It's all very peculiar when somebody does not take care of their life when they are working and get a pension, put some money aside. They can live like me where YouTube can just be a fun little hobby. You can talk about whatever you want. Heck, my YouTube channel is not focused at all. It's a scrapbook of stupid ideas. <laughs> like it or not like it, who cares? And the fact that I don't have to chase the dollars all the time is nice. Carolyn, relax. Take care of what you need to take care of. Carolyn, you should have actually worked for a decent firm that gave you a pension so you wouldn't have to play these stupid games and do the man-hating just to get a few views. It's silly, it's wrong, and it's actually distasteful to 50% of the people out there that happen to be men. Now I know I'm going to get some hate from those libs out there. <laughs> I always do. Hey, there are so many emails I've released about Carolyn complaining about me because God forbid you are not allowed to speak about her. Oh no. Oh, oh, pardon me. You are allowed to speak about her if it is in a glowing, nice fashion because free speech isn't something she likes. In fact, she hates free speech so much that she's like pooping on the graves of all those soldiers that died in Europe on the great wars because she don't like the free speech. <laughs> What up with that? How come I'm the only YouTube nomad that respects those that died for the free speech that we have today? She don't really give a crap about that. She only cares about the views. And you could probably put your comments down below of what you think about that. So anywho, Bob Wells is doing his thing. The RTR is slowly dying because you can't camp with the Bob. You know, it's a, it's a specific venue where you can't camp. You're only there to learn the stuff that's already available online. Kind of sad, but Bob's doing the best he can. And he's actually accomplishing it as a man without Carolyn. Isn't that amazing that Bob, as a man, can actually accomplish something without Carolyn being involved? It's freaking amazing. I think it's a damn miracle. So unless Carolyn's gonna do an unscheduled uh, appearance, <laughs> very quickly kind of like when the you know the president flies into some far-flung country where it's dangerous <laughs> so I don't think we're gonna see Carolyn's RV life at the RTR 2022 because you know security concerns you know there's too many men might even be too many conservatives out there in the desert oh it's dangerous as hell <laughs> Yeah, and God forbid you actually idle your truck too close to your RV. Yeah, she's going to call the cops on you for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty pathetic that you can predict how she does these things in cycles. Because obviously if she did the man-hating every day, every week, yeah, it'd get a bit tiring. And eventually <laughs> her audience would go away even quicker than they're going away right now. Perhaps all those subscribers that she bought years ago were milked off of Bob, you know, being friends with him. It's not really panning out. The views are really down relative to her total subscriber count. 
don't even know why she continues but she's got a bigger problem looming right now i noticed she's got some leaks she's got quite a few leaks i took a screenshot from her latest video i'm going to show you that black mold that's going on inside of her rv it's disgusting anybody who knows anything about black mold that rv's done it's done it's worthless the only thing she could do is burn it to the ground and get some insurance money because once you have water intrusion from the wall leaking over like that your rv's done the cost to remediate that is very expensive heck here in vancouver years ago they decided to build california styled condos and they had wall problems just like that because the water was intruding through the walls creating black mold any rv that has water intrusion like that with extreme black mold leaking out through into the cabinets that's done carolyn do not sell that rv to an unsuspecting person if you do so it's unethical and it's deceptive for the love of god carolyn destroy that rv buy a new one out of your own pocket whatever carolyn's rv life decides to do i swear to god she better not better not sell that rv it's destroyed black mold everywhere she's breathing it now who's going to pay for the replacement well i think you are <laughs> and who's she going to blame for that black mold well she's going to probably blame a man because a man probably built that rv <laughs> when you got that much black mold it's crazy so when the time comes that she tries to pawn that rv off on somebody for the love of god don't buy it don't think hey i'm buying a famous youtuber's rv with black mold <laughs> Maybe in her mind she thinks it's worth more because it's got her black mold. Uh, so I predict she's going to have to have some sort of mysterious insurance claim <laughs> so that the RV goes away and she can get a new one. Or she's going to have to dun sucker somebody in to buy a leaky RV with black mold all through the walls. And trust me, if you start taking away all those panels and taking a look, it's going to be everywhere. It's horrible. Carolyn, it's a shame you didn't work at a proper job to get a proper pension with benefits so you could just afford to go out right today and buy yourself a new one. You could even probably finance that $150,000 unit if you wanted to. But unfortunately, you're at the mercy of playing games with your viewers just to get some views, just to get some money. It's sad and it's horrible, but I know you're going to find a way to blame a man for it. So put your comments down below on the horrible things that's going on in her life and how she's persona non grata at the RTR 2022. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised Bob's not spending 10 grand on a security arrangement so that Her Majesty can come grace the presence of the rest of you down there in Arizona. So it's her own damn fault. We actually, in essence, cannot blame a man for that because she done did it to herself. Put your comments down below. I'll talk to you soon. Over and out. I got you, I got you, I got you